Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing good. I have a new Zionic and Share Gold Guide for you today, which is the Dire Mall Transmog Farming Spot. This is by far our favorite transmog spot. Uh, we turn over roughly one full bank tab of these mog items in three to four weeks. So roughly a month, which is a very good turnaround time for, uh, for transmog. So the amount of gold you can earn in Dire Mall is anywhere between 5 to 25k in an hour, which we'll break down at the end of the video. And on top of the mog items, there's also a small chance that you guys can get the tailoring pattern for rich purple silk shirt, which sells anywhere between 40k-ish on most servers. And that's just an extra bonus to running this place. The mog items alone are, are good enough. Okay, so for location, Dire Mall is in the north part of Fairless, and you can get there a couple of different ways. You can port the shrine, then Dollaran, then Caverns of Time, and manually fly the rest of the way from there. Or you can go to Stormwind, then port to Aldham. If you have the port there, it does require a couple of quests, and manually fly the rest of the way from Aldham. And on a side note, you guys do not need a repair mount for this farm. The vendored greens and trash at the end of the run is worth approximately 175 gold, so not really a big deal. Um, you can really just trash the items along the way. It's totally fine for this kind of farm. Now that we're here, make sure to use the Dire Mall East entrance located here. You can do a full lockout in 10 runs in 50 to 55 minutes, meaning each run takes approximately 5 minutes. The route is pretty simple. You zone in, make sure to drop to the bottom right away, and pull all the trash and eventually work your way back out to the, the entrance you just came in. You don't need to pull any bosses in here. Most of them are way out of the way. They don't drop any mog items, so you can just skip them to, uh, to make the run a lot quicker. Alright, I ended up completing a full lockout here in 51 minutes and I'm just going to put one of my runs in fast forward so you can actually see the route that I'm taking. And while that's going on, I, w I just want to explain a couple of things. First, transmog farming can, uh, can look really really great on paper and if you're new to mog farming you need to really understand that uh, you, need, you need to have uh, patience, it can take a lot of time. Don't farm, farm this for 10 minutes, extrapolate that data and, uh, and assume anything after that, so just, just don't do that. Transmog can and probably will take multiple postings on the auction house and potentially, you know, one to four months to sell some of those items. I personally recommend installing Trade Skill Master, uh, TSM for short. This is a major auction house add-on that will help you post massive amounts, literally hundreds or thousands of items within a fraction of the time it would take you if you were posting them all manually. Selling uh, MOG items without TSM would, would be really, really limiting, frustrating, and overall a, a slow, painful experience. So um, you don't want to burn yourself doing that. If you can, take the time, set up and install TSM. Uh, you'll sell more because you'll be able to post uh, post more than one item at a time. You'll be able to post a ton and you'll be able to do it one, two, or even three times a day. A lot of our other uh, auction house markets, we, we just throw things on for 48 hours and forget it. But we do transmog completely different. And because we use TSM, we're able to put it on for two, uh, you know, repost it two or three times a day to maximize our sales. And that's that's been working really, really good for us in terms of uh, transmog. Okay, our one hour farm session is done. It's time to do a full breakdown of the items and see how much we actually made. And if we look at the vendored blues, greens, and trash, the total there, as I mentioned earlier, it was only 174 gold. So it's not really a, uh, a big deal if you bring your vendor mount to, uh, <laughs> to maximize on, on vendoring that crap. Uh, but if you do, you do. The uh, various cloth, I actually made a killing. It was 2414 gold. I usually only make about four or 500. I just got ridiculous fell cloth drops today, so um, that <laughs> that's definitely not common. And various herbs and crafting mats, you're gonna actually get a ton of different herbs and uh, don't throw them out. They're actually worth more than current expansion wad mats, so. It's, it's literally going to be, I want to say, over 17 different little bits and pieces of herbs, but 
uh, keep them all and all those crafting mats it's 850 gold worth there so definitely worth it uh, transmog items i kept everything over 300 gold market value on the auction house any other blues or greens below that just that was part of the vendor trash but uh, the transmog items I got over 300 was a total of 11,000 gold and all together uh, with all of that the the grand total of the breakdown is 14,506 gold so a, a pretty good run and it usually varies anywhere between 5 to 25k gold when you do a full lockout which is a little bit less than an hour. Well, that's pretty much it for this spot. I hope you guys have success farming here. And last, we do plan on making a lot more YouTube guides, so please uh, periodically check the channel. And also feel free to check us out on twitch.tv slash Until next time, peace!